know what way of recipes. Once I was watching an episode of this show called Carnival Eats and something came up kind of crazy that I said, I'm gonna try that one day. It was a deep fried brownie. And today, I'm gonna air fry a brownie. Not any brownie, a Starbucks double chocolate chunk brownie in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. So we're gonna see what this convection toaster oven can do and we're gonna get started with it right now. All right, so the ingredients for this cook, I've got some Pillsbury Crescent Roll dough. Won't be using all eight from this roll, just enough to fit over my brownie. I've got my Starbucks double chocolate chunk, chunk brownie here. I'll be getting that out in a moment. I've got some powdered sugar I'll be garnishing with. For the setup of the Smart Oven, I'll be using the air fryer rack on the second rack holder from the bottom. So the second rack up is where I've got the uh, air fryer rack at, or the air fryer basket at. Underneath that, on the first rack, I've got a rack lined with foil just to catch any drippings. You don't want to get drippings on your heating elements. So I'm just going to get this opened up and get enough out to be able to cover up that brownie. Okay, I've got three pieces of the perforated crescent roll dough here and I'll see if that's enough. If not enough, then I'll just use a fork. So I'm gonna get the brownie out here. Set that on down in there. And I'm just gonna try and fold it up with the three and see if those are enough. I think if I stretch, I may be able to make it. All right, so here's my covered brownie in dough. I'm gonna sit there right in the middle of that air fryer basket. I can tell you from experience that uh, cooking spray doesn't help with the non-stick on these types of baskets. So just stick it right on there. I'll show you how to get it off nice and easy. To turn it on, I'm going to hit the menu button, hit the air fry. Turn it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, get my time temp, lower that to 12. I may not need 12 minutes, but we'll see. So at this point, I just hit the start button, let that start cooking, bring you back when it looks nice and done. Okay, so the cook has gone 12 minutes, and I noticed a couple things while it was cooking. I think this bottom tray just needs to be in a little more to make sure the heat's held in there. And I probably should have used the baking pan underneath instead of foil so it would allow some more airflow. So when you do yours, just use the baking pan underneath instead of the foil. But we're pretty much, we're pretty much done there. I'm gonna let it go for a little longer. So we'll say like, you know, for this you can do 12 to 15 minutes or so. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the menu, we'll on off, get it back on. Hit the menu button to go to air fry again, up to 400 again, time down to three minutes. Hit start button. I'll just let it go for a few more minutes and I'll bring you on back. Okay, the last three minutes time is up. So they've been going for 15 minutes total. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. Well, it's been going for 15 minutes total. Looks pretty decent. It's not a uh, hard fry top, but also we got that brownie in there. So with this, I'm gonna go ahead and plate it. All right, so let's have a look here. You can see the top. Let you see under the bottom. See how well cooked it is under the bottom. To get that, uh, get it off the bottom, that, that dough that seeped through the crisper trays, you just take a spatula and you just kind of press. You press up on that dough. Press up on that dough up through those holes. Makes it a lot easier to get this thing off. All right, let's just see. All right, comes right off. Look at that, it's like magic. All right, close this one up. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and garnish a little powdered sugar on top of this. We are trying to have that carnival fare to it. And that's plenty enough there. All right, and look at that. 
think that looks pretty tasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that camera swap and do the taste test. All right, our air fried brownie from the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. Let's take a bite. You see both sides, nicely done. pretty hot and very good though it's hot and good so um, I'd say try this if you are interested in this type of thing you know don't try and eat this type of stuff all the time or too much um, you know you don't want to overdo it but good anyway this other recipes super wave oven recipes.com Twitter wave oven recipes the Amazon shop is amazon.com slash shop slash wave oven recipes if you like the video give it a thumbs up Leave your comments, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.